driving change in sub-Saharan Africa. 143 locomotives will eventually transport coal, magnetite and iron ore in South Africa. The first 10 were imported from the U.S. The remainder will be built at Kudusport, east of Pretoria. We are going to be able to establish South Africa as a, a manufacturing hub for locomotives and wagons, which will supply not only to, the, to Transnet and Prasa, but also to the regional market all around Africa. It took two of these locomotives to drive the same amount of cars that five of the previous model did. So there's a tremendous efficiency savings for, um, for the railroad, as well as a lot less emissions, a lot less fuel used. Uh, and, and it's a, a combination of the engine technology, the braking technology, the interaction between the two. 60 Transnet engineers have been trained in the United States, Australia and Mexico. Transnet says it can build a locomotive in three days and expects to finish 100 this year. We intend to increase uh, the, the total tonnage of uh, goods transported on rail uh, to 200 million tons. This has put the country on the map as a competitive railway manufacturer. Australia is contemplating acquiring these locomotives from South Africa. Esmerie Prinsloe, SABC News, Pretoria.